For more, let's welcome in uh, Dr. Michael Savage uh, in his weekly spot, um, the host of the Michael Savage podcast, also author of the book, Our Fight for America, The War Continues. Dr. Savage, good evening. Great to have you back on. Well, it's good that Donald Trump's going to speak, but I'm going to have to take a dissenting opinion. As I tweeted the other day, this is a political disaster, and I'll say why. Sometimes there is the right decision at the wrong time. I'm talking about the road decision. Folks, we all know the timing is everything. And I ask why now? Hmm. Why galvanize the left? Who pushed this on the SCOTUS calendar at this time? The question really is, why now? Of course, it's the right decision. But why galvanize the left? Was it sabotaged by the rhinos? We all know, those of us who've studied this very carefully, not the abortion issue, but how the rhinos operate, they really don't want the majority. They like playing the minority role because they can then blame the Democrats for all the problems that they're part and parcel of. And as I tweeted the other day, curse me if you will, folks, but by overturning Roe at this time, and I emphasize at this time, this could have been pushed down on the calendar past the midterms. The Republicans may have just destroyed themselves. Remember, abortion was not the number one issue for America. We're worried about the center. We're worried about the women in the middle. The women in the middle. Wait, my, my, Michael, center. if I could just cut you off just for one second, because I just want to make sure we're on the same page. So you think this is going to be that big a deal come November? This People issue. People are not stupid. They're going to remember this. But is this going to is this going to outweigh inflation? gas, inflation, uh, everything else that's going on in this crisis right now in this country? It won't outweigh. It won't outweigh them. But I'm talking about that sliver of the center, the independent voters mainly educated women, they're going to say, wait a minute now, it's the, it's the Republicans again messing with my body. Even if they care about all the other issues, women are not the way they were 40 years ago. They don't want their bodies legislated by, let us say, evangelicals or Republicans who, you say, well, they're not on the court. Well, that's not the point. We know that the court was changed by Donald Trump for the better, and we celebrated that. But why now? We didn't need this before the midterms. And I keep asking, why do they why do they have to judge this now? The right decision at the wrong time, timing is everything. Why galvanize the left just before the midterms? They were they were on the defensive. The whole country's a mess under Joe Biden and the left. Now all of a sudden, they have an issue and they can say, women, even if you're on the right or your center. You don't want those Republicans messing with your body. That's my opinion. Well, not only the ruling, of course, on Roe, but, of course, uh, Democrats upset over the ruling on uh, gun rights, obviously. I know you have thoughts on that case this week, which will allow concealed carry in New York State. Let's listen first to what Governor Kathy Hochul had to say. But we do not need people entering our subways, our restaurants, our movie theaters with concealed weapons. We don't need more guns on our streets. We're already dealing with a major gun violence crisis. We don't need to add more fuel to this fire. I don't know about you, doctor, but I feel safe knowing uh, more good guys out yeah. there on the streets have guns yeah. as opposed to all these thugs out there. 100% law-abiding citizens. 100% mm -hmm. agree with both of you. Look, she's 100% wrong. She doesn't like gun violence. Well, let her do something about it because the Democrats created it by letting the gangs run wild in the streets with guns. How did that happen? Because they took the police off the streets. They had gang units in, N in the NYPD. They had units that would frisk people who they knew were carrying guns. They knew who they were, and they deballed them. They handcuffed them. And now they're shooting up the streets like the Wild West. So let her direct her rage towards herself and towards the mayor of New York City. They created the problem. Now, the, here's the thing, though. Again, it's a dissenting opinion. I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit, which is very rare in this city. But I will tell you this. It's not as clear as you may think where people suddenly have a gun. you got to remember that those who are willing to shoot right away, like these idiots in the streets shooting each other, yep. most of them are drugged up. They're violent. They use guns all the time. You're not going to get an average citizen in a gun battle with them who's going to win, necessarily. It takes great skill to use a gun, especially under fire. And I do not recommend that people go out and try to act like vigilantes because they're going to get themselves killed.
All right, Dr. Michael Savage, good to see you as always. We'll do it again soon. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Thanks, I had to Savage. disappoint everybody. No, you didn't disappoint we anyone. I appreciate your I, opinion. I, I think you make a good point. I just yeah. think inflation, crime, the economy, still the biggest issues to voters. But right now, this is certainly, you know, this is the topic right now. I, I'm really excited about seeing where this is come the polls that come out yes. this week. We were so Because far we'll ahead. see. No, it's this a good point. It's, I thought it was an interesting point. Dr. Savage, good to see you as always.